expected. Part of the reason we're swapping the clutches is because we're doing a show for eBay Motors next week. So we thought we'd get a jump on it, we'd do the clutches before the show. When I took off this rear valence, I noticed that the oil sitting on top of it that was kind of leaking from this fitting looked a little milky. We almost didn't check the oil. Sure. You wanted to leave it. I was like, no, it's been a few track days. We should change it. We should have left it. We still can. Ignore the glitter. The glitter is from a skit I did with the 240 a long time ago. The problem is the milkiness. I'm gonna get Sean, cause he's gonna be really bummed. This is gonna be a problem considering we have three, four days until this show starts filming. Go. Uh -oh. Come look. No, no. Yeah. Yeah, that's bad. And Amelia goes, should we change the oil? That motherfucker is making a thousand fucking horse still. Well, the upside is we don't think the rear main seal is actually leaking anymore. No. The downside is your motor is perfect. Well, that was completely unexpected. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys watching this expected it, but we certainly didn't. I just called eBay. I just called Texas Speed. eBay Motors is like, however we can help, we are here to help you. Texas Speed, immediate conference call. However we can help, we are here to help you. So I'm really thankful that we have such incredible sponsors and partners. I'm confident that we'll be able to get this situated somehow, some way before the shoot. What we're going to do first is we're gonna finish pulling the engine and trans, dropping the, the K member because we have to send out this new clutch that Sisu just rebuilt and overnight did to us for this shoot coming up anyways. We need to send him our old core back. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a leak down on the engine and hope that it is just a head gasket. Either way, the engine's tired, so we're also looking at doing some sort of a rebuild, especially before we head to LS Fest. And for anyone who has no idea what any of that means. It's fucking broken. <laughs> uh, bro, we've done this five times now. It is time to drop the engine. We're gonna lower the K member onto the jack stands and then we unbolt the four corners as you guys have seen five times now. Keep coming, keep coming. You got like four inches. Is the bubble wrap comfy? Actually, it really is. You know what's sad? We have a blown Mustang and we have a potentially hurt Corvette. But I'm not gonna lie, this engine lasted two years of so much abuse and a lot of boosts. It was gonna happen sooner or later, it just sucks that it's happening now. I'm gonna correct you. What? Yes, your Mustang is blown. It's not up, it's just wounded. And it wasn't built for boost. He's defending the Ford right now. No, no, this was <laughs> built for boost. Just not the way we've been doing it the whole time. We call Texas Speed, they're like, yes, yeah, so you've been pushing like 15 pounds, right? And we're like. <laughs> uh, 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 sure. <laughs> yeah, about that. Let's just drop the engine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh shit. What? 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 You coming? Yeah. <laughs> this here is a um a four cylinder turbo. Comes factory on all stingrays. Right, you ready? Yep. There we go. And that's the turbo kit. So this is the plug that was found last time. Let's take a look. Yeah, it looks fine. Are you interested in making a career pivot or leveling up your skills in a current role? If so, I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Invest in yourself and your personal growth. Skillshare has a great resource for freelancers and entrepreneurs to help you learn new skills to support your growing side hustle or launch into a totally new career. They have classes like Finding Fulfillment, Using Pivots to Power Your Creative Career by Emma Gannon, and Start Your Creative Career with Sonia Razula. Skillshare has all sorts of classes ranging from business analytics all the way to lifestyle how-to classes. The possibilities are endless and there is always something to learn. Skillshare has many perks for their members too, which are ad-free lessons so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills, no interruptions at all. New premium classes launched each week so there's always something new to discover and you'll never be bored. Also, the entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, 
Portuguese, and German, so there are no excuses. You can learn in other languages too. There is so much to learn and there is no better time than to get started now. You know what they say, the only tool better than a hammer is an education, or at least I say that. The first thousand people to click the link in the description below or use my code Amelia Hartford will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So act quick and invest now. And by invest, I mean invest in yourself. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's episode. Now let's get back to the video. We're doing a leg down test. This is going to tell us, hopefully, if something's blown. All right, she looking good. <sighs> All right, heads are coming off. Oh. <sighs> I don't know, man. This looks okay. The cylinder walls look okay. I guess we'll just pull off the other head. Nothing obvious. Well, we are at a complete loss. If you guys have any ideas, comment below. There's probably about 60 thou tolerance between the piston and the sidewalls, so they're a little worn, but I'm going back and forth right now texting the guys in the middle of the night over at Texas Speed to see what their thoughts are. I sent them photos of the head, of, of the block and all that. We tried looking for hairline fractures. We legitimately don't see anything. Just to show you guys, everything looks okay. We're at a loss. Yeah. This doesn't happen often. So we're gonna come back tomorrow. We're going to separate the transmission. We're gonna keep uh, plugging away and seeing what we can figure out. And hopefully we have an answer by the morning. The next morning. So you might be asking yourself what the Pronda is doing on a nine car hauler. She's going to New York Auto Show and she's being displayed with eBay Motors alongside some crazy creators. Like if you guys are in New York and you wanna see Pronda, I guess I'll put the information in the description below. The Prius looks so unsuspecting with every other car on this trailer. Yeah, right? It's just a Prius. <laughs> it's just a Prius. I also have to give a huge shout out. I don't have to, I want to. I want to give a huge shout out to Always Holland because the Prius almost didn't make it. Tavarish connected me with them today. I called them within two hours. They had a tow truck to get the Prius to New York in two days, so. We'd been trying to find a tow truck for about a month now. These guys came in clutch at the very last minute. No one wanted to tow a Prius. I don't know why, but these guys are handling it. Texas Speed confirmed it. We are lifting the head. Last time we pulled the head off, we noticed there's a little bit of crud and we weren't sure if that was combustion leakage or if that was just gasket material. Texas Speed did confirm though that it appears that it was leaking and our heads were lifting. So after LS Fest, we'll pull the engine out and we'll send her out to Texas Speed for a freshen up. Should we send it? To the junkyard? Yes. Fortunately, we were able to get head gaskets from a local dealership. Sandy grabbed those on his way up today. And I will show you guys the brand new clutches in a minute. It's good now. We check the heads with the straight edge and they look okay. All right, the engine is taken care of. Time to pull the transmission. explain you guys what's going on with the clutches. After speaking with Dodson and Sissio Performance, we can confirm that the clutches were slipping. One of these shims that we wanted to use, we didn't have and Dodson in New Zealand couldn't make because of the lockdown. So we opted to use an OEM shim, which had a small, small tolerance difference. Didn't think it would affect it. It did affect it. Since then, they've perfected their stage two clutches. We are no longer on R&D prototype clutches. These are the official and final clutches from Dodson Motorsports assembled by Sissio Performance. So Sissio was kind enough to ship us out the set and we're gonna be swapping them. Thank you, thank you, Sissio Performance for overnighting these Dodson clutches. That way we can get them installed and ready to go in time for the shoot. Sissio Performance also included one of Dodson's line pressure control boxes. And if you guys are looking to get clutches for your C8 Corvette, you can only get them through Sissio Performance. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh. Hopefully this is the last time we ever do this. All right, we climbed a mountain. We just got up the top. Now we're headed back down, meaning we're putting her back together. This has been a lot. We 
What are you feeling, Lance? 40 weight? 50 weight? 50 weight sounds nice. 50 weight it is. And my next trick, the new Motil 300V. Okay, we put engine back in car now. Hold it right about there. I think we're clear. I'm clear over here. It's a lot of work to build this engine. It's in. She's in! We had to put down the camera so we could just bust out some work. Obviously, engine is back in. We got the gaskets on, new clutch. We're ready to fire her and then load her up on a trailer in order to head to the eBay shoot. So let's pray we did this right. Oh, we did it the first time. Nice. All right, let's see what she can do now. Those shifts already sound way more crisp. And that doesn't have the trans control on it, and it doesn't have the trans learned either. Oh, she feels so much better. Yeah, that looked way better. and clutch who would have thought like this video go subscribe see you guys on the next one e crew we out here with love bye bye please unsubscribe and subscribe to my channel called alex <laughs>